Hi everyone, Toon Day here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about a game that I've been recently playing, which is Near Replicant. Now, for those of you who don't know about what Near Replicant is, it's essentially a remake slash remaster of a game that came out in 2010 called Near. Now, the interesting thing about this is that we had received two different versions of that game. So the version that came out in North America was called Near Gestalt. And this one featured a older version of the protagonist where he was a father to the character named Yona. In Japan, they had another version that's been now remade called Near Replicant where instead of the protagonist being a father, he was much younger and was the brother to the character named Yona. Now, the interesting thing about this is that when Nier first came out in 2010, it didn't really take off, so to speak. Um, around, around then, it, it didn't really sell very well, and it, it didn't review well either, mainly because of the gameplay that it had. Now, I did play about an hour of the original Nier, and I can, I can attest to agree with the gameplay. It just really wasn't up to snuff with stuff that came out around that time. And then the Nier series didn't really blow up up until the game uh, Nier Automata came out in 2017. And that's when the game really got that, that series on, on the map. It got people talking about Nier. Uh, so much so that I'm pretty sure Nier Automata won quite a few Game of the Year awards uh, when it first came out. Now, back into this game, uh, so far I put about four hours into it. I gotta say, I, I do like it quite a lot. Like it, it Now, I know that uh, so far in terms of game releases, that's been fairly slow, but it, it looks like it is picking up it is picking up now and this game is quite excellent now the storyline that takes place for this game is that it starts off with the protagonist and his sister both hiding out in a supermarket where it seems like the world has ended and they're both the last surviving humans in the world now from what from what it looks like it, it looks like um, there are now these uh, beings called shades they're going around a attacking and harming humans and right now the protagonist w is essentially hiding out trying to protect his sister and then shortly afterwards the game fast forwards to about 1500 years later to where essentially the protagonist and his sister both look exactly the same but his sister is still suffering from an illness so the main crux of the game is that the protagonist is trying to find a cure for his sister's illness in order to save her because because eventually what will happen is that um, if, if he doesn't find a cure, there is a, high, there is a very likely chance that his sister will die. Now, moving on to the gameplay of this game, I gotta say, ap from, after playing the hour of the original Nier, this, the gameplay in this is severely improved. Like, uh, the animations are much better. The, the feel of controlling the protagonist uh, and, and using attacks is, is much better. In, in the original Nier, uh, the, you only had one attack button, and the way that the protagonist moved, it looked like he had never swung anything in his life. Like, it just, it just looked very awkward and weird. It didn't feel good to control. In this one, it feels way, way better. They've added way more combos, way more depth into this, so... So you have your light, light and uh, heavy attacks. So with that, you can chain together various different combo combos with them. Uh, also, depending on the weapons they get, those all have their own set combos also as well. Uh, the nice thing about this version too is that it also has a parry mechanic. So if you do block an attack just when the at enemy attacks, you'd freeze up extra hits. Uh, other parts of the co combat that has been added is that later on through the game you will find a book named uh, Grimoire Vice and through that book the, the protagonist gets an assortment of different spells that he can use. So the main ones that I found so far is that he essentially has a spell where the book will shoot out a bunch of projectiles 
that's kind of similar if you guys have played Nier Automata to the projectiles that the pod would shoot. And then he also has another one to where he can essentially uh, charge up the the book to, to form these like uh, these like little spears that can shoot out to enemies. And then uh, the, the last one that I've gained is one for where the book will form a bunch of gigantic arms to use to attack enemies with. Uh, other nice things about about the game is, that I gotta say is the music. The music in this game is probably some of the best music that I've heard in a video game for a, for a very long time. Like I, I've heard that a lot of it is remixed from the original, and I, I did go and listen to the original as well. And the music in this game is just amazing. One of the best things about the music too, especially in the first area that you get into after after the time jump is that uh, they have purposely made the music dynamic so for example uh, when you first get get out and start exploring you're going to hear one part of the melody uh, of a song going on and then shortly afterwards you're gonna get up to a fountain where someone where you're gonna see a lady that's actually uh, playing the 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 song that you're hearing on the lute and then she's actually singing the lyrics to that song so each time you go away move away from her and go back to her it loops right right together just to where the song picks up so it's not like it's uh you're, you're missing anything out into that and then another area that you find too is a is a library the library has something similar to where the moment you get into the library it plays a different version of that same song but they've synced it up so that way you're hitting each beat of that song as well uh, also so far story-wise I am quite in the, I am quite interested in the story so far especially with the protagonist's mission to try and save his sister I feel that the story in this is quite enjoyable and it, and it is keeping my interest quite a bit now I am probably going to continue to to play the game and beat it uh, if you guys did want to see more of this game i am also streaming it on my twitch channel a link in it will be in the description so if you guys want to check it out for yourself i so far i would highly rec recommend it and if um anyone has been playing uh near replicant so far and wants and uh, has some thoughts about it, please le please leave your thoughts in the description so yeah this is so now we have reached the um, end of the video. So again, thank, thank you guys for uh, watching. Uh, if you guys did like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I will have ne more near replicant content on the channel as well. And again, I am streaming the rest of my most of my playthrough of this game on my Twitch channel, which will be in the description. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.